Hey fellow gamers, Avar here, and today we're talking hyperspin widescreen beautification. So here's a scenario. Let's say you've just finished installing hyperspin, you've got all your games in there, your themes are ready, your wheels are set, everything's set up. Looks pretty good, right? Right? WRONG! <laughs> I think what Lex is trying to say here is that while everything may look alright to the untrained eye, Hyperspin is in fact stretching a 4x3 aspect ratio image to fit your high definition widescreen display. This affects backgrounds, videos, pointers, letters, wheels, particles, flash gifs, and all artwork, including artwork in standard themes. The effect is especially noticeable with circles, making them appear elliptical, and people, giving them broad shoulders and features. What I'm going to do now is go over some pragmatic ways to circumvent this issue without having to sacrifice much in the way of fidelity. First, and most importantly, you're going to want to head over and subscribe to James Baker's channel and check out his themes. JB is pushing hyperspin to the limit to bring us some truly impressive, natively 1080p, fully cinematic themes. James Baker's got some serious talent. Just look at it. LOOK AT IT! But since most of you probably have tens of thousands of games in your setup, I'll show you how to make do in the meantime. The max width of a 4x3 image displayed in 1080p is 1440 pixels. By stretching that image to a 16x9 resolution like 1920x1080, the image's width will increase by a factor of 1.3 repeating, or 1 in 1 third. If we squish the dimensions of the artwork we tell Hyperspin to use, it will be stretched to the correct size. Therefore, we need to squish our art to 75% of its original width. In the description below, you'll find a link to where you can download Photosizer, a free batch resizing tool. Open Photosizer and make sure Maintain Aspect Ratio is not selected. Set the width to 75%, then check your destination settings. Define an output path and make sure Output Format and File Name are set to Same as Original. Now we just need to resize our art. In this example workflow, I'm using the AAE Arcade system. If you're working on a console system, be sure to also resize box and cartridge art as applicable. Also, before you do this, it's worth checking the Hyperspin download section to see if there is an already widescreen compatible artwork available for the system you're working on. Finally, remember that this example is for converting to 16.9 widescreen. If you want to convert art for use with a 16.10 display, you need to squish the width to 83.3 repeating percent. Now, let's sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labor. This is my current AAE setup, and you'll probably notice that in addition to the techniques I demonstrated today, I've also resized all of my themes, backgrounds, and videos, including the animated SWF files. While the principle which we use to accomplish this is exactly the same, the way we go about it is slightly different, and individual themes can require various techniques in order for them to look just right. In subsequent tutorials, I'll be explaining the basics of how to convert your themes to widescreen while maintaining or even improving their quality. I'll also demonstrate some more advanced techniques, such as how to resize the flash animations in complex themes, and how to handle themes with intricate or detailed backgrounds, since each background might require a different approach. What we cover today in both practice and theory is fundamental to those tutorials, however, so I greatly appreciate your watching this. As my way of saying thank you for your viewership, I've converted all 648 of the officially minted Atari 2600 games themes to 16.9 widescreen. These themes were originally created by Roadrunner, and all credit goes to him. Please note that in this download I've only converted the 648 themes matching the official database's nomenclature. Believe it or not, it took less time to convert all 648 Atari 2600 themes than it did to convert the 29 Toho Project themes, so there's even more reason to tune in next time. While you're waiting, you should be aware that subscribing to my channel or James Baker's increases your attractiveness by over 9000%, and I also encourage you to check out my other vids, at least to see how fun it is to watch me get repeatedly obliterated by Devastator and Transformers. As always, thanks for watching, hope this was fun and helpful, and have a great day.